glad to see all of you here. I'm Hastu, and I lead the growth efforts for us here at Mo Engage. And what that means is I have the opportunity to talk to marketers all day about their challenges, how they're engaging with their customers, what they love, what they hate about the technology that's available to them right now, and a large part of what we're talking about, next slide please, is the future. Uh, and we've heard this quite a lot, and I'm sure we're gonna keep hearing this uh, more times than you'd like, but AI seems to be the future. I think we're all in agreement now. AI is gonna be the way forward. It's going to be all about delivering human-led experiences and uh, the handshake between the market and the machine, really, to deliver these personalized one-to-one -one communications with your customers. Now, what does this change mean? What does this mean to marketers specifically, not just your end customers, but you as marketers? We believe that AI, we believe that the machine should start being a little bit like your phone. They need to start being more intuitive. They need to start helping you be more efficient, be faster, be stronger, do more with less. I'm sure that's, again, something everybody here has heard a lot of. Uh, and yeah, we, we feel like it should be your assistant. Um, and that's what we'd encourage all of you to ask off of your marketing tools, your technology, help me. Tell me what campaigns are performing well, what should I start scaling up? Help me project the impact of a campaign before I've even launched it, because at the end of the day, you're all running marketing campaigns to get some output out of it. Remind me or recommend that I test everything that I'm doing. Marketers love to test, everybody loves to test, and AI is just a great way to help enable that for you and take a lot of the heavy lifting off of, uh, off of your shoulders. But any change is difficult, uh, especially large organizations, especially if you've been doing things the same way for a while. Change is slow, change is hard. Uh, and the best organizations that we've seen drive through this change and into the future have taken a more phased approach to it, sort of a crawl, walk, and run. And that's a little bit of what we'll talk about today. How do we help brands, and how should you as marketers, if you're not already on the AI bandwagon on the way to the future, how do you, how do you get there? How do you take the first few steps? But before that, why should you listen to us? Who are we? Why are we sponsoring this track? What do we do? Now, More Engage is an insights-led, intelligent customer engagement platform. Now, there's a lot of customer engagement platforms out there. What do we do differently and why do we believe we, we add a lot more value is, for us, we try to go beyond just marketing messages. We try to go beyond just emails. We believe that any communication that your users receive from you, be it marketing, promotional, transactional, website, app, email, SMS, WhatsApp, any experience is a brand experience. And we actually help brands like Citibank, Joe Fresh, KFC, Poshmark deliver these cross-channel experiences no matter where the user is and do that in real time. And of course, do that with a little bit of AI. And today we power over 1.2 billion user experiences every single month. So there's 1.2 billion unique users every month that receive that one-to-one -one personalized experience from Moengage. Now, today we'll talk a little bit about one of our customers, Poshmark, uh, one of my favorite brands. Uh, it is an online marketplace to trade used or rather pre-loved goods, and particularly luxury goods. Uh, as a marketplace, they're also a social marketplace, which means posh parties and posh shows Real-time community-led online shopping experiences are a great way for them to start getting more users engaged, involved, and just browsing more products and driving more discovery and, of course, more conversions. Uh, and again, as a marketplace, every buyer is a potential seller. If you're buying something, you need to get rid of it at some point. And Poshmark, again, does a really good job of activating buyers and helping them actually sell the products that they may have bought on Poshmark or otherwise on the platform. Now, this has been great for them. This is a very campaign-led approach to their customer engagement and marketing. And 
with the crawl that they're currently on, uh, moving into an AI-led and machine-supported uh, view of marketing, they've started using a lot of A-B testing. They've started leveraging a lot of AI to A-B test for you. G moving away from the 50-50 split, at the end of the day, end of the week, decide who's the winner and start rolling that out to everybody. But what AI is enabling them to do and what we're enabling Poshmark to do is just keep testing. The weather changes, the elections, there's a strike, the economy, everything changes user behaviors. And you can't just test once and say this is what's gonna perform for the rest of the year, rest of the month, whatever. And AI, again, is a great way to start crawling, to start testing, letting the machine do a lot more of the heavy lifting for you. Now, that's a strong foundation when you're crawling, but how do you start walking? And with the walk, again, Poshmark starting to do some really good work of going away from a more campaign-led and campaign-centric approach to their customer engagement to putting the user at the center of everything that they do. And they've started now delivering a more user and customer-led approach to their customer engagement, which means we're not only telling you about new products, but we're telling you about new products for you, new products that you would want to engage with, the colors that you like, the brands that you like, the budgets that you want to engage with. We start understanding who you are and start delivering experiences that matter to you as an individual. Now, a large part of how we've helped them enable this has been through product catalogs. We have the ability to sync their entire product set, all of their products listed on Poshmark from every single seller into the Mo Engage platform, which then is allowing us to deliver these personalized experiences. It's allowing us to deliver, again, the right product, the right content, catering just to you and what you're interested in, what you want to engage with. And not just the right message, a, lo a lot of focus when we talk about AI, a lot of focus when we talk about smart uh, solutions, delivering content has been key. But what we are also spending a lot of time on is whom do you want to talk to? Who are the users that need attention? And the machine, AI, is a great way, again, to trust the system, trust the machine to do the heavy lifting and identify what customer moment are these set of users experiencing today. At what part of their journey with your brand are they? Are they your champions who are ready to start referring their friends if you just give them a little bit of an incentive? Are they highly price sensitive customers who've left a product in their cart and need that little bit of a nudge, need that little bit of a discount to push them over the edge? Or is there somebody that's dormant, they haven't engaged with you in a while, but you know payday, luxury goods, that's the sweet spot for them. Let's engage them on a day that they would want a message from you, that they'll see value from you, and with products that they care the most about. And through allowing the machine, allowing AI to pick the right audience, pick the right set of people to target, we've seen a significant increase in just email open rates going from a little under 26% to a little over 36%. And for everybody out there wondering about machine opens, this is accounting for removing those machine opens, and this is actual email opens um, after deduping. And that, of course, means much better uh, results. Now, we've started to see a lot of brands crawl. We've started to see a lot of brands walk. Now, what does the run really look like? And when it comes to running into the future, running with AI, uh, we're, we're quite proud to say that we've been partnering with and working quite closely with the Movable Inc. team, uh, helping enable these experiences, again, not just on email, but on apps, on websites, across any channel that you can think of, uh, and start enabling marketers to make the most of the machine, make the most of AI. Now, imagine some of the possibilities, right, when it comes to delivering these unique, personalized customer experiences. Uh, you're able to talk to me, deliver messages to me when I need the most, where I need the most, on the channel that I'm most likely to engage with them, 
and say things that matter to me, say things that make me feel like you really know me as a brand because of all of the data that um, you've trusted the brand with, being able to use that data again to deliver unique experiences. So it's not just a cart abandonment email or push notification anymore. It's a cart abandonment email or push notification that knows that you'll, you're going to take on average 12 hours to make up your mind and make your purchase. That price isn't actually what matters the most to you, it's reviews. So instead of telling you about a price drop, we're actually telling you about the amazing reviews that the product you have in your cart has been able to uh, gather for that particular product. And it's again going away from bucketing me as a user, bucketing me as a customer into you know, just the same bucket because everyone between 30 and 35 who lives in New York acts and behaves the same way. No, we don't, we're all unique and AI and being able to deliver the right message at the right time through the right channel can, can really help you with that. It also means that you can pick up user moments. It also means that you know what the weather's going to be like in my city this weekend, and do you want to now start recommending my fit for the week? Do you want to start recommending products that I actually want to engage with and will be delivered to me before this event that you're trying to market to? With Movable Link and more Engage, that is possible, again, across any channel. But what you're also able to do is start collecting more uh, user preferences in a way that's gamified. You don't just have to ask me what I like, but you know, do stuff like contests, start taking polls, and start asking me again about things I care about, and use, use my preferences and all of the data that I've given you to deliver a better experience that's actually helping you as marketers collect more data. Now, with this partnership and with all of the data that you all have as brands today, there are unique personalized experiences that you can all deliver. And I would urge everybody to go beyond just emails, go beyond just push notifications and text messages. Start thinking of what AI can do, what the machine can do to help you deliver the exact same seamless experience every time I open up your website. It should say the same thing as your email did yesterday. There shouldn't be a disconnect between these two experiences. The uh, cart abandonment email that I get, you should know what I really care about. Every time I go dormant, you should know what kind of products will bring me back, and you do know this. And the machine, AI, is just a really good way of enabling everybody here, all of you here as marketers, to do a little bit more with less, with less resources. And again, it's, it's the phone. It's all about making sure we give you the power, give you the ability, and give you the capabilities to do everything you want and need. And at the same time, because we know you, because we know your users, we're recommending uh, things that you should be doing. We're making suggestions and giving you the power to act on it on your own without waiting on tech and data and other teams. But yeah, with that, that's it from us. Uh, really happy to see all of you here. Thank you for listening. Uh, the Mo Engage team is all around, so if anybody has any questions, anything you want to know, you can look for me, you can look for Rachel right here, you can look for Nick. Look for Cleve right there at the back, and Chris, who's just walked in, I saw you. All right, cool, thank you, everyone.